Okay, for right now I'm shooting 4K, 30 frames per second. No iPhone attached, just strictly the Osmo Pocket. I was gonna kinda do varied shots. Yesterday a lot of people um, were questioning things like um, what Lux and everything. I'm doing everything straight out of the camera, 4K, 30. Got a little Rudolph in the uh, abominable uh, snowman there, I forgot his name. So I'm just going to do a couple different shots. It's a much sunnier day today, so the colors should be a lot more um, in line with how it actually is in real life. So it's a pretty blue sky. I know that's been an issue, so let's just do a sky there. You know if it's been blowing out. So it's just something to try. Shooting some of the ducks here. Our geese. Sorry, neck ducks. So just testing it out. Um, again, yesterday was a very cloudy day. I thought maybe we could get one landing, but it's all ice already, so. Obviously there's no zoom on this camera, so. But I, the field of view I think is pretty good. It's kind of nice with the reflection in the, um, on the water slash ice. So like I said, I'm just going to do a whole bunch of different examples of where this might be handy. One of the main reasons, or one of the main uses is just to be, you know, not carrying a mirrorless camera and a six inch lens and a mic on top that's another four inches. And that's probably my regular setup, which is uh, A6300, is, um, is that way with a mic on top. And then if I bring the gimbal along, it's probably four and a half pounds without the, uh, Moza Air Cross, it's probably about two, two and a half with the uh, 18 to 105. So I'm just trying to look for, or use this as a camera, not as a replacement per se, but actually to use it as a um, lightweight alternative, always have it with me, be able to shoot at any point. Again, I'm not scrolling, I don't have the phone on, I don't have the phone attached right now, so what I'm basically doing is just um, panning by hand, left to right, right to left. I'll do some shots with the phone attached so I can actually use the uh, virtual joystick to actually let the uh, gimbal head actually do the panning for me. But right now, you know, it's doing the stabilization and going left and right, but well, I guess I can actually kind of just turn it. But, okay, that's just another shot. Let's get more of the water here. And actually there's some rocks here. Again, this is definitely not a replacement for a full mirrorless with fast glass or anything like that, but it's a great portable solution. On the go, always have it with you kind of camera. Okay, so I figured I'd do a vlog. My arm's probably 90% extended out to see if it can hold the focus on my face. Um, spin around here. Not much in the background, but just trying to see if it'll actually hold the uh, focus. Again, everything's set on standard. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put on sunglasses because it's actually really sunny, as well as to make sure that it can track with sunglasses. I just clicked on the um, touch to focus. Although I believe it's actually an active track when you're in selfie mode, now that I recall that. Which I can see it's actually doing that. So it looks like it's holding on me, even with sunglasses. Tilting it up and down. It seems to work pretty well. Got a little close there instead. So I would say your arm pretty much has to be fully out, maybe a hair less to, uh, to probably hold focus. Again, I don't have the phone hooked up to it. I am walking. I was hoping here that there'd actually be horses, but there's not. There's just a car going by. I just realized I'm focusing forward, so you're not gonna see it. The um, one thing is, you know, this isn't a replacement for like a mirrorless. I mean, those have huge lenses and fast apertures. I mean, 
this is a very small camera but I mean its main advantage is it's pocketable you can carry it anyway anywhere and you don't look you know like if you're walking around with a huge camera some places you know they get kind of suspicious of that kind of stuff and that even though you're not doing anything wrong but this little thing is so small it really makes it easy to just always have it with you and carry it around with you so that's it for front facing it's just a little, little uh not a little but it's a horse farm oh i just hit my arm with the other arm so that's why it jerked Again, just doing a little pan. I keep forgetting that I can turn the actual device and have the gimbal pan. I don't know why. I keep forgetting that, but unfortunately there's no horses out. I was hoping they were out, so that's it for this clip. This is just walking. Again, the sun is behind me. Walking backwards. Trying to get as many unique things as I can so that people can basically see the uses for it. So I'm going to pause here and actually put in a picture. It's not a super wide lens, that's one thing to keep in mind, but I like that the buildings aren't all distorted, which helps. Nice contrast with the blue sky. Okay, this is another with the iPhone attached. It's the first time I have it attached for this vlog. And um, you can see it actually tracks pretty well. I'm gonna put on my glasses in a minute just so I can see what it's doing the sun's kind of kind of bright it's reflecting off the water you can see back there now i'm shooting into the sun just so you know so that's why it got kind of washed out which is what most cameras are going to do let's do a 360 around now the sun is like literally right in my eyes And I did some tests yesterday where the focus was off, so we're going to get that corrected now. Because now that I'm hooked up to the phone, I can see it. Oh, actually, top center is actually a microphone um, output, output meter. Whoop, slid there on ice. Um, so, let's see. I'm trying to get my glasses on here. Okay, let's get my shadow out of there. The beep shows up on your phone, so make sure you kind of put it in airplane mode if you don't want the audio to pick up the um, little beep there. That was a back to auto center. Again, it's mainly as a pocket. You know, it literally fits in your pocket. I mean, it's great for something like if you were on a vacation like at Disney World or a zoo or something or just like even like downtown or something you're just walking around you don't want to lug a ton of ca camera equipment and lenses and mics and gimbals and joby pods i mean this is literally so light it doesn't even i have no problem carrying it whatsoever i mean there's literally no weight i mean the phone adds weight to it but um for most of my shots i use it without the phone i mean that might change in the future but so let's see here. I'm going to try to... It's going to jump here because I'm climbing a fence. So, or going over a fence. Eh, it didn't even budge that much. It's pretty nice. So this is kind of shooting into the sun a little bit. But just to give you the contrastiness of... Yep, 
You know, I mean, I think it's definitely acceptable by far. I'd say the one thing is the little screen with um, making sure you have focus is a little difficult. But again, it makes the device very small. So I'm going to go in too much so I can show you how you can see it's it's focused on behind, even though it's sitting in the center. So, you know, right there it got it back. So, you know, you just have to learn the, the points of where it can and can't focus, which isn't a big deal. It really doesn't take that long. Here's something I haven't tried before. It is a flashlight mode. And that's where you pretty much hold it out at a 90 degree angle. Um, I'm not really sure the best way how to get the um, camera to focus that way automatically. So I just put it at the 90 degree angle and then I um, double clicked for the recenter. And it automatically set it up correctly. So I'm assuming that's the way you do it. I'm just gonna do a glide by of the uh, fence structure. Again, you're not going to get super cinematic, but you're going to get the content, which is kind of kind of the idea. And ended the lock.